These are fins set up for half round leading edge milling. And this is the roughed out finish on those edges. This is fin and fin can layout. Here's all the fins laid out, drilled, scuffed, prepped. This fin can took a lot of work and time. It's all 6061. This is a titanium riser tube. There's four of them that it's uh, getting drilled and tapped 3 8 by 16. And this supports that uh, retention ring section we constructed in the previous video. You can actually see the aluminum ones are getting replaced with the titanium ones and it does save some weight. These bulkheads started out as eight and a quarter inch solid round billet. Now we got 24 feet of oxidizer tank tubing that's getting set up to be cleaned and degreased. And then on to honing for proper fitment and seal surface. This is all laid out, fit up, and center punched, ready for drilling, followed by tapping after it's all drilled to its specific depth. It's a really tight tolerance drill depth. You can't punch through it. If you punch through it, the bulkhead itself or the closures trashed and they're not cheap. Here's a time lapse of drilling. There's 288 holes total, just retaining each oxidizer tank closure. Each 1032 screw has a shear value of 500 pounds per screw. This is set up in the mill for drilling. This is just a quick video. I got the depth stop set. Uh, so it's auto fed down and then it, the clutch will pop and then you'll see me hold it down flush for a following couple seconds just to achieve that proper drill depth and then it's all checked with a with a mic to make sure we're at the correct depth you can see we're all drilled and depth checked on all the holes now we got the tapmatic 30x set up with a nice three flute 1032 bottoming tap. And uh, we're gonna start tapping holes. It's a extremely time consuming process assembling this vehicle, specifically in drilling and tapping. There's so many damn holes in this thing. Here you can see the Tapmatic 30X set up, ready to go. I just gotta put the arm on it and we'll begin tapping. So here you're going to see me start to install the 288 1032 screws. Here and there you'll see me hit it with a deeper tool or even run a bottom tap back down it and chase the threads out. It's a, it's a 
extremely time consuming process, but very satisfying in the end when it's all said and done and you sit back and you look at it. It's kind of mind boggling. And there it is, complete. 288 1032 machine screws retaining forward and injector tank closures, all said and done. Until the next video.